Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ed Rood, Rudy Tutorials and I'm in Copper Cube. And in this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you guys how you can use some alpha map. So you can reduce your shadowing in Copper Cube. We all know Copper Cube can't handle too much graphics, especially when you add too much items to your, to your scene. Okay, so you want to pump up your scene. As you can see there, I have a, a terrain platform that I can walk on, but there's only one texture uh, added to this terrain. As soon as I add more textures, the, my frame rate goes down dramatically. Okay, as you can see. So this model is very high dense. It's a lot of polygons, but I want to use this model in my survival game. But uh, as soon as I uh, add the shadowing to my environment, especially to the directional light, as you can see, there's an, a directional light added to my, my scene. There's some shadows on the, the model, but we don't have shadows on the floor. As soon, like I said, as soon as I add the shadows to the floor, my uh, frame rate drops dramatically, drastically. Okay, so this is the model I, I made in SketchUp. Okay. I'm not gonna show you the polygons, but believe me, it's very high. As you can see, my frame rate on my recording is dropping. So I want to add some shadows on the ground with the illusion that this house is really uh, um, giving some shadows. So I made this in this uh, platform. I made it in Blender. I left the alpha transparency on the, on the mesh, as you can see. Okay, it's separate from the floor from the terrain so I can move it around I can place it anywhere in the in the scene as you can see there's a, a shadow also added to the to the uh, platform let me show you guys this looks more realistic and gives some life to the floor to the terrain it's not so flat as you can see there I'm gonna show you in Kim what I did I just uh, put some layers on top of each other and I just um, erase some of them so that they can give some transparency so you can see through that uh, mesh. Okay, as you can see there, this is just a, a block, a black block that I just added some alpha transparency on it in Kim and I just uh, lowered the opacity so I, that you can see uh, through that, that uh, 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 shadow effect as you can see there there's some there's two effects because we have a directional light and there's some indirect light also falling on your object so you need to give the illusion that there's more lights in your scene i'm gonna make more videos um on this topic because you guys can make your level look very nice especially with the light poles you can give them um a shadow effect that is not really there but it's uh it's there you know you just put it on your your texture okay if you're an artist you can do it perfectly but i will show you guys if you don't have any skills in drawing or doing art i'm here to help you guys that's why you need to subscribe to my channel because i'm gonna upload and create more videos like this so as you can see guys i'm in copper cube and this looks much better for me this result i'm gonna go over to kimp as you can see here i have three layers I have the base layer, I have the, uh, 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 the maps that I want to use, the templates, okay, let me just go over to the hierarchy, there is the shadow as you can see that is one layer, okay, just want to move a little bit out, there is the one layer that is the shadow, that is just a, a mask that I put on top of the, of the sand just to give it a more different kind of effect because why um, this map is um, seamless so I don't want them to, to look the same okay this is the map in copper cube I'm gonna go back to copper cube that, is what, that was Gimp sorry you see there okay so guys if this video was helpful i hope you smack that like button and please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet it's because i'm gonna upload more videos on this topic like i said you can pump up your level if you want to let this way you can create any type of mesh with any uh, uh, uh texture on it and bring it into your map there you see 
Now the result is finished, I'm quite happy with this, can put some fencing on it, some uh, uh, items laying around, also give them shadowing. So when this one platform is finished, you can put it in one empty and move it around and you can copy and duplicate it, whatever you want to and put it around in your scene, so you don't have to do it over and over again. Okay, my name is Ed Rudy, Rudy Tutorials, I'm in Copper Cube and I'm here with helpful tips on how to create games and pump up your levels. Okay. Thank you for watching, hope to see you in the next one.